Hey beautiful souls, it's your girl Cats, and I am back with the 24 hour energy forecast for this full moon in Pisces hitting us here in the West Coast at 10.22 p.m. and 1.22 a.m. on the East Coast. Are we ready? Uh, I think so. We got this, right? In fact, the first card out, the first energy that's represented, the High Priestess. Yes. But that also means it's doubling, uh, doubling reveals, doubling uh, things that we aren't seeing, wider perspectives, heightened intuition, you know, uh, signs, synchronicities, coincidences, can't make this shit up type of things happening to everybody around the globe for the next 24 hours. And pay attention to your dreams. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of dream work going on. And for those who are intuitive, might be getting a little bit of uh, some messages and guidance coming through also. Okay. We got some repeating energies from yesterday. I shouldn't say repeating, but the energies are still there and growing stronger with now that we're stepping into the full moon tonight. Um, the hanging man, instead of the chair reversed, we still got that pause going on. If you find yourself in kind of a cliffhanger situation where um, like uh, maybe a decision you have to make, we have the two of wands energy. It talks about reassessing and choosing a path. But some of us, Maybe it hinges on things going on the outside before we know which way, which path to take. So for those in that mode, they're sitting kind of hanging, waiting on maybe judgment or a decision to be made. So you know which direction you're going into. Um, you might want to take this time to, to just understand that it's beyond your control. It's not worth stressing over. Okay. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Okay. Um, victory is assured. Okay. These two came out in this order, this and this one. So this energy, I keep feeling Mars. Mars is all over this energy. This is probably coming from him. That's why. Um, for others, um, the suspensions uh, or the blocks, if you all of a sudden find yourself like just, well, I got to wait. So, you know, you want to keep busy. Now's the time not to be so busy, but to sit and really reflect on the direction you're going in. Make sure to really assess the down the road, you know, like six months from now, a year from now, where do you want to be? What do you want to be doing? Really looking at that. Now, now's the time. It's like a, I don't want to say last chance, but you know, hypothetically a last chance, like, okay, you have to choose one of two directions. Either way, that's where you'll be in a year from now. Okay. So that's going to help a lot of people sit there and really be honest Try not to make it, and I know it's hard to say this, especially with money this year. Um, a lot of people are hurting. Uh, but the thing is, you got to base this on here. You want to get where, you're, where you need to be. And do not fear. You're going to make your way home. To me, this is a coming home card and it's a, like a victorious warrior with all the work that we've all been doing uh this year especially the last four months and all the shit we're going we've gone through the cleansing the clearing getting with me and loving me and being me and, and then for those of you who are just now starting that and are in a lot of pain and hurting and stuff like that this energy is very it's not at, it's more subtle Okay, it really is. It's a very subtle energy, kind of not so much peaceful, but you get that stability feeling like I'm home. Home is literally where the heart is. So think about that when you're making that, when you're reassessing what direction you want to go into. Make sure the decisions you are making are really in alignment with your soul, really in alignment with your heart. And everybody's like, well, how do I do that? Intuition. If you feel extremely passionate about something like you're just talking about and you're like, oh my God, blah, blah, and you have a chance to actually do that for a living, do that. Your soul's going to sing and everything's going to work out. Victory. When you choose that, I really feel that for people who do make these, who are in this mode right now is what I felt with the energies. You're going to see instant support. Yes. Like woo, a little fanfare there. Yes. That's it. That's it. Because we're the ones that choose the path, right? We're the ones that decide if we're going left, right, out the door, this job, that job, stay in this relationship. Let's chuck it all and go for a brand new one. <clears throat> something better, something healthier, something I want. Because we are worthy. We are worthy. 
And don't worry, if you need information to make this decision, again, here's the, here he is. Here comes the great librarian, the hierophant, the great teacher. Ask and you shall receive. That actually came through in my meditation. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> there's a lot of information uh, to be given out there for those who ask, if, especially if it's hinging on if you feel that the decision you need to make going forward is, is so important to your life what you want it to be get that information research ask questions ask for information anything that's going to help you so you can make that decision that's best for you okay it's out there there's gonna be a lot of, and i hate to say this but i hate to say this no i don't mind saying this because this is actually a good thing we're gonna get an overload of information like almost like at our fingertips like on the phone google Actually, I think Google's going to take a backseat. This information is just going to be flowing. And I feel like there's a really huge, they're still not letting me see exactly what's happening. But there's something big coming in with these two, with the moon and that amplification on this information coming out. Okay, there's going to be a lot of reveals. Like I said, I said it yesterday and I still feel that there's going to be some where we're going to be like, it's about time. But this time we have the actual factual information and there's going to be some. I don't know if it's something or things that they're just not letting me see clearly, but it's, it's going to be making a, it's going to have us all going, oh, whoa. Okay. So <clears throat> I know another teaser. Thanks. Okay. But we still have this ace of wands energy coming in, burning away the old so that the new can come in. It's like a new birth, like a rebirth. Uh, but brand new, like this is, it's just like a whole new world, you know, oh, I know that was bad. Sorry. Okay. So we've got this, it's a reminder energy. Some of us that actually do make the right, you know, are making the right choices, the healthy choices for us. Okay. Ourselves. Okay. You're going to see this start is what I'm feeling. There was a shift there. There's a lot of people that already started making that move already in the last 24 hours. So imagine what's going to happen in the next 24 hours. <laughs> now, here's what's interesting. This was a surprise again. And I, I, like I said, I'm just looking at the energies as I tap into it. It's, it's not an easy thing to do that's coming and hitting. That's going to be influencing us the strongest. And, you know, and then the cards come out and I met, you know, of course, I'm meditating and, and interpreting. And then these two guys popped out and I went, in the house of love, out of all this stuff we're going through on our own, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups. We have a lot of fire energy, which is a yang energy also, but it also is a passionate energy, creative energy. There's some people who are making decisions for this. I want this. They might have the house. They might have the job. They might have the car. They might have the means. But they're missing the family part. Or they're missing their partner. Okay. Male and female don't matter. Male, male, female, female. It don't matter. Non-binary. It doesn't matter. Some people are... Finally seeing either what they're missing or where they need to go on that part of their path. A lot of family, like connection too. Feeling like a team, a partnership, strong, strong bonds there coming in the next 24 hours. And then we've got this page of cups. Even though there's a lot of heavy energy from people who are hurting it and they're just starting the purge. They're just starting. Uh, they don't, you know, they're scrambling, they're losing it. They don't know, you know, how to handle this. Like <laughs> they're grabbing people, help me, help me, save me, save me. You know, it's like, Oh, Hey, you were there to save me. <laughs> you know, every man for himself, you know, but there's this beautiful, Energy, encouraging, loving communication, being compassionate. People, you know, uh, stepping up, making offers, making that decision. Going home. 
Mm. Very interesting. That little page. And not only that, but maybe you'll be feeling that love. That comes. There is always love. Love is something that is never not here. <laughs> it's within us. It's in our power to deny ourselves it sometimes. Like from ourselves to ourselves. You know, so we're too busy. Either I need that person to love me or I need this to feel loved. And when we finally realize, get to that kind of enlightened state of, wait a minute. Ah, there it is right here. What a beautiful energy with all this stuff going on. But this gives me hope. Finding our way home. We got this. Follow that gut. Follow your intuition. Really get that information. Or maybe you're like, well, I don't have a way to get the information. Just ask. Ask your, your higher power, whatever you believe in. Hey, guys, can you send me some concrete info, X, Y, Z? Here you go. You'd be surprised. So you got to be open to where, how that communicate, how that communication might come in. Okay. Might come in the most surprising ways. Some are going to be really obvious though with this full moon energy. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little, <laughs> Ooh, well, that's what happens when you're cancer moon and Pisces sun and with this going on tonight. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. All right. <laughs> Aw. All right. We'll take it. Thank you, mama. Mama Moon, Mama Luna. Here's the Wisdom of the Night cards, Oracle cards. I thought we get a little. Let's see what we're doing with the lunar energy specifically. Is that it? Mm. Strength. Be strong. Be strong. <laughs> it's a fire energy too. Be strong. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's Earth. <laughs> Not to Virgo, by the way. <laughs> Happy birthday, Virgos. Uh, my granddaughter's was a few days ago and I kind of got asked, well, why didn't you mention that on Instagram? Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I only spent like two days with her. Being her sweets. I think that was a revenge. Anyway, um, strength. You have the strength to make the decisions that are healthy for you. Think of the bamboo, you know, strong, very tough. <laughs> we get it goes with the flow it's flexible too and with all this volatile reactive energy too you don't have to flex your muscles to show your strength or you're stronger sometimes <laughs> a gentle touch can tame the beast so remember that <laughs> step back before you react and make sure before you start jumping the gun on things you have the facts clearly <laughs> in place before you you know beauty Look for the beauty in your life. I feel like that's going to be highlighted, like beauty in things. Things that are precious, things that during these pauses, I think we're going to notice that more. The little things that really make a huge impact on us every day that we take for granted, right? To help us make that decision so we can go home. Right? In the heart to get where we need to be, guys. Woo! Yee! That's what we want to do with this energy. Oh, I got a little melancholy there. <laughs> On that note, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And uh, oh, I'll be back tomorrow night <laughs> to do another check-in um, for the next 24 hours to see what's going on with these energies coming in for this week. <laughs> Sorry, I just get it. It's just, there's a little, there's stuff happening around me that I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> it's all good. It's all going to be good. It's all for the highest good. And damn it, I know, I know where I'm going. Or at least I know where I want to go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so anyway, to you all much love and light. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> And I'll see you tomorrow.